Craig Shirley is a buddy of mine. He's also one of the great experts on Ronald Reagan. And he and I agree that that speech Trump gave was the finest speech since Ronald Reagan. Better than any Clinton speech. Better than any of the two Bush speeches. Better than any Obama speech. And look how the media react to it. There were a lot of Reagan-like themes in the speech, particularly at the end. But a lot of Reagan-like themes. And Van Jones is just too stupid to be able to follow the flow and the ebb of the speech. It went in and out of the personal, in and out of the historical, in and out of the policies. So it's not just a, a boom, 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 talking point speech. Superb use of, uh, of serious individuals, people, a meaning. In the gallery, it was a great speech. It was an outstanding speech. And again, I, I want to caution the president and his staff. If you think you're going to be able to work with these people by moving to the left on issues like family leave and so forth, it's not going to work. It didn't work for Nixon. It didn't work for Reagan. It didn't work for Bush. And it's not going to work for Trump. They take what they can take, and then they stab you in the back. This is a political war. I hate to tell everybody this. They have no intention of uniting on the left. They have no intention of anything but destruction, destroying our economic system, destroying our constitutional system, and destroying anyone who stands in the way. The reason they hate Trump is because he stands in the way. The reason they hate Trump is because they're expecting the third term of Obama via Hillary Clinton. He stopped them. So all their political guns, all their propaganda guns, all their media guns are aimed at Trump. And the truth is, most of the people in the media are Democrats and liberals. That's why they coo over, say, Obama and trash mouth Trump. It didn't matter what Trump said last night. It didn't matter how he said it. It didn't matter how many issues he could raise that, that the left would support. None of it mattered. They already had their script. You heard Chuck Todd. You heard Van Jones. Excuse me. You heard Comrade Jones. Then you get Cory Booker. Cut four, go. Again, this is a president whose rhetoric uh, uh, is often vicious, cruel. Uh, here he talked a lot about World War II. But now let me be- just stop you. You know what, pal? You were vicious and cruel to Brett Kavanaugh. You're also gutless, playing to your base. And I notice you don't come out and talk about Lieutenant Governor Fairfax of Virginia. I'll get to the, uh, to the three of these guys. This is unbelievable. I notice you don't come out, Mr. Booker, and say no due process, no presumption of innocence. The Lieutenant Governor of Virginia should go. And he doesn't do it for two reasons. One, Democrat. Two, African American. Look, that's the truth. That's the God's honest truth. Now, maybe he'll do it at some point if it's in his political best interest to do it, but so far, no. Now, the woman accuser has hired the same law firm that Ford hired. And her allegations are much more specific and credible than Ford's ever were. Now, there's no corroboration. So people need to take that into consideration. But anybody who sat on the Senate Judiciary Committee and who's a Democrat don't need to take any of that into consideration. Allegation guilty. Gone. What about Kamala Harris? More on that when I return. 